Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. So today in this session, I am going to demonstrate about unplanned depreciation. So now in this section, uh, we will we will be going to learn about what is this unplanned depreciation and how to post this unplanned depreciation step by step in SAP. So I will start with uh, what is uh, first of all what is the unplanned depreciation. So generally in Unplanned depreciation can be used when an asset becomes obsolete or an asset depreciates faster than normal one. Faster than the normal. Uh, an example, uh, if, uh, if we talk about any example, so if any company vehicles got made with an, any accident, to do this in the system, uh, so we need to we need to do the unplanned depreciation because uh, when the car or any asset or meet with an accident then uh, it will totally damage so that is that will not be useful for us so to remove that from our in the system so we have to pass the unplanned depreciation first then only that uh, netbook value can be we, we can adjust to zero so to post the unplanned depreciation in sap the first first transaction code we need to execute is uh, a B A A. So let's get started. So here I'm accessing the transaction code A B A. Okay, now I'm giving the company code as two thousand. Now I will be selecting my asset. Okay, this one before going inside i will show you the asset explorer for this asset kw01n okay so for this asset equation value is 1 lakh and uh, we have ordinary depreciation we done only 10,000 so here we can see the poster values okay so here so till period 10 we have uh, posted the depreciation now we are in currently we are in period 11 so now uh, the transaction type be, I think transaction type will be 650 uh, yeah so we have uh, two transaction types so generally for 650 is unplanned depreciation in current year equation if the asset is a current year equation if it is a prior equation means we have to use the 640 so this my asset has been asset uh, equation happened in current year only so I am selecting the 650 transaction type and then click on here and then my accounting principle would be IFRS and depreciation in year 01 and I'm giving the document date as the same date as posting date just copy and paste it here as I said value book also and the posted amount would be I'm giving as a 20,000 and plan depreciation Okay, just hit enter. Okay. Okay, this is my accounting principle. Then click on simulate. Okay, then go back. then click on post at the time of uh, at the time when we are posting the uh, unplanned depreciation then system will not generate any document it uh, in fi level it will only post to asset accounting only let's see here when i click on post you can see here message asset transaction was posted with eaa a asset accounting document number all zeros two in accounting principle LGAP and then I will go back to our asset explorer I will go 
come back to main screen and again I will come back here so here we can see unplanned depreciation as 20,000 it's only posted to the asset accounting only it's not posted to the FI in financial it's not posted so to post it so here also it's not reflecting here so still here it's showing as a plan plan it means it's only posted into asset accounting it's it, it's become as a posted then only the accounting document will be generated then only the amount with all the changes will be amount will be reflected in our financials so to do that we have to execute the uh, depreciation run for this asset for this period then only it will be able to post it then I will go to transaction for so now I am going for the transaction code AFAB to execute the depreciation run slash n AFAB yes so here physical year I am selecting this and posting period as 11 and then yeah so my asset I will take this asset for testing purpose whether we have any issues or not so I can see we have some issues here if it is in processing one okay Company code 2000 accounting principal page fixed asset processing. Uh, expense account for unplanned depreciation could not be found. Okay. Accounts. Mm -hmm. So the asset class is Z2000. Okay, Z2000, and then balance sheet, not a balance sheet. So depreciation. Okay, so here we have we haven't assigned any expense account here. So let me assign one expense account here. Okay. Plan depreciation. Yeah, this one. I am again executing in the test run. Let's see if we have any errors or not. Oh, still it's showing some error. Okay, so Facebook company code 2000 accounting principal and balancing the profit center in line item triple zero is not filled okay so it's looking for the profit center whether i need to check in my master data whether profit center is maintained or not oh, sorry cost center is already maintained and in this cost center Center is also here, and then so 
so let me execute it again so, so now we can see here uh, the error message has been gone to bypass this error message so i have uh, created the gl account as a primary cost and revenue and uh, and then for that gl account i have maintained one okb9 settings so based on that uh, system is uh, fetching the profit center and due to some uh, issues the uh, the cost element uh, profit center is not picking from the master data so now i am going one more step back and i am removing the test run here and when i click on execute system will not run the depreciation run for single asset we will get that error message then we will yeah asset selection only allow in test run so i have to remove the test run here and then i will be i need to execute here now okay this process is only background so select the health program and click on execute in background so mp01 and then click on immediate check and click on save so background job has been scheduled now go to slash and sm37 schedule and click on execute so here we can see the job has been scheduled successfully sorry scheduled and finished successfully just click on the spool here so here we can see the entries here so document number this one if i open document number this one we can see the entries okay so So here we can see the unplanned depreciation is posted to 20,000 and 20,000 here we can see this is our asset 50003 ending with 3 this is the entry and 75 is credit to asset and debit to this unplanned depreciation account debit to this unplanned depreciation GL account so this is the process to post the uh, unplanned depreciation in sap so now here we can see the asset explorer explorer now here i am refreshing it now initially it was uh, showing uh, in the planned now when we have executed the depreciation run now it will show as a posted so here here we can see the action equation is uh, one lakh and now the 20,000 is unplanned depreciation we have posted now I'm going to the posted values tab so now here we can see here come down all the way down so this one yeah here we can see the ordinary depreciation also posted and unplanned depreciation also posted 20,000 here initially it was a plan now when we executed the depreciation run then only system has been posted this entry to the fi books for our financial book initially when you execute uh, fabb uh, fabb then uh, system only only uh, record the transaction at asset accounting level only when you execute the depreciation run afb then only it will be posted the document to the financial books so that's all in this section thank you so much for watching this my videos thank you